Hi guys. It is a gorgeous, maybe not spectacularly over the top, beautiful gorgeous, but still a gorgeous. It is Monday morning here. Monday morning in the collapse of global industrial civilization. That would be August 9th, 2021. And the little dog and I, we need to take a long trip to pick up some Tropicana canna lilies for the bog garden. But before we go bog gardening here, uh, do what I do every day or try to do, and that's bring you some sort of collapse of global industrial civilization, the planet, so on and so forth. Good Lord, guys, trying to... Uh, <clears throat> trying to choose what to go through. Uh, this excellent story from the Guardian. Dead zones spread along Oregon coast and the Gulf of Mexico. Study shows uh, just the latest research on these ocean dead zones. Good Lord. Uh, anyway, we might get back to the exploding number of dead zones across this dying planet. Uh, planet dead zone is what we're heading into. Uh, that one's almost too depressing to read. <clears throat> I was going to get into this uh, story from the conversation about cats. Don't blame cats for destroying wildlife Shaky logic is leading to moral panic. Yes, that we're having a moral panic, according to this cat hugger, blaming cats uh, for eating birds. Imagine that, uh, blaming cats for eating birds. But I do absolutely love this picture in here uh, of this coyote. I don't think you can probably see this in the glare of this fantastic picture of a coyote taking a cat, a dead cat hanging out of its mouth. Now, of course, this cat is about the size of Sancho Panza, and we do have coyotes probably within, there's probably at least one coyote within 200 feet of where we're sitting. So I better not laugh too much about this coyote <clears throat> taking out this cat. Uh, a moral panic. But uh, <clears throat> right next to the story about cats <coughs> is the, we went from, we're going from moral panic to BS. <clears throat> In this case, the BS being black swan events. I have... Uh, I cannot remember who it was back when I interviewed people about the collapse of a planet. Who was it that I interviewed? Would somebody help me out here? Where we talked about black swan events. But for those of you <clears throat> not uh, familiar with what a black swan event is and what it has to do with the collapse of a planet. The Independent newspaper over there, I believe the Independents in London, are going to explain it to you. <clears throat> I'm going to put the link on here. You're welcome to read this story and uh, figure out what it has to do with the collapse of global industrial civilization. But if you just want to sit around and listen to me, read it for you. That's my job, I guess. <clears throat> okay. This is by a fellow named Samuel Webb. What is a black swan event, and why are they key to the climate crisis? <clears throat> An upcoming report, okay, they're talking about this IPCC report. We're all waiting for the newest IPCC report coming out today as I am speaking. 
they are releasing, you know, the United Nations is leading its latest uh, IPCC report, which will absolutely dominate the doomosphere for the rest of this week. Uh, so we're going <clears> to <throat> take kind of a preview before the fusillade of IPCC report stories crank up in the doomosphere. <clears throat> An upcoming report today by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change will look at physical changes both underway and looming that are a result of climate change from harsher extreme weather to rising sea levels. The report compiled by leading scientists and signed off by governments is expected to confirm that the world is unlikely, yes, the world is unlikely to meet the goals of the Paris Climate Agreement on climate change and that holding global warming to 1.5 C above pre-industrial times is now, quote, very challenging. Yes, <laughs> very challenging. Can you say a mythical pipe dream? <clears throat> okay, I'm not sure what this comment means. At the request of governments, at the request of governments, the report will, for the first time, look at the growing possibility of black swan events such as irreversible melting of major ice sheets that could lead to huge increases in global sea levels. So what is a black swan event as you will be hearing this term more and more. So for the glossary <coughs> term from the uh, from the doomsday glossary black swan event is one that was un Precedented, that was unprecedented and unexpected at the time it occurred. This is Emily Schuckberg, a University of, Cam of Cambridge climate scientist. Quote The fact that we are starting to see some of the impacts of climate change really ought to be a wake up call for global governments that this is not something they can ignore. We cannot ignore the black swan events. So where does the term black swan come from? The term black swan originates from the historical European belief that all swans are, are white because all swans observed and recorded up to a certain point had white feathers and therefore a swan of any other color was impossible. However, in 1697 the Dutch explorer Willem van Vlaaming discovered black swans in Australia upending the belief and transforming how we understand the natural world. The term then became a metaphor, a metaphor. I know people are having trouble in the 21st century understanding the language of metaphor. The term then became a metaphor for the idea that something that was previously thought of as impossible can, in fact, arise. And not only is it possible that this belief is proved wrong? It may also be inevitable after evaluating the surrounding context. <clears throat> you know, in the case of swans, the existence of other birds that have different colored feathers but are the same species. In other words, a black swan event cannot be predicted but may seem obvious in hindsight. 
black swan events were discussed by the writer and statistician Nassim Nicholas Taleb in his 2001 book about financial events called Fooled by Randomness. The dot-com crash of 2001 is an example of an unforeseen and unpredictable event with catastrophic results. In his 2007 book, The Black Swan, Taleb goes further and states that almost all major scientific discoveries and historical events are black swans. He says the rise of the personal computer, the First World War, the collapse of the Soviet Union, and the September 11 attacks are all examples of unforeseen black swans. Now, I know there's a hell of a lot of people, particularly in the Doomosphere, who would say that every one of those events, if you had just been paying attention, every single one of those events were utterly predictable. Uh, so, you know, I, I'm, I'm putting a big asterisk, a big BS asterisk by a lot of this. It's kind of like this faster than previously thought. No, if you're a doomer who's paying attention, who has been reading the handwriting on the wall for what now? I've been down here for like 12 or 13 years. It's not faster than previously thought. It's slower than uh, you could ever imagine. Uh, and, and kind of the same with black swans. Every one of these uh, <clears throat> future black swans are completely predictable by anyone paying attention. But for one thing, everything is off the table. Is it on the table or off the table from this point forward? On the table or off the table at this point? There is nothing uh, that, is, that is unpredictable at this point. Uh, anything that, that happens from this point forward, you could say, was completely predictable. No shit Sherlock. I would call these no shit Sherlock events. Anyway, getting back to the, uh, to the mainstream media spin on black swans. Uh, okay. Caleb say says three criteria make up a black swan. Quote, quote, first, it is an outlier, an outlier as it lies outside the realm of regular expectation because nothing in the past can convincingly point to its possibility. <coughs> And I, I remember in that interview with the person who I'm having a brain fart about interviewing, this is really what he was focusing on. <clears throat> Second, it carries an extreme impact. Third, in spite of its outlier status, human nature makes us concoct explanations for its occurrence after the fact, making it explainable and predictable, you know, looking backwards at it. <clears throat> A small number of black swans explains almost everything in our world, from the success of ideas and religions to the dynamics of historical events to elements of our own personal lives. Close quote. Okay, let's connect some dots, move on and connect some dots between black swans and the climate crisis. How is all of this going to be playing out over the rest of this century? <clears throat> what are black swan events in the climate crisis? 
natural disasters such as the recent wildfires and destructive flooding that have swept the globe are classed by many climate experts as black swans. For instance, scientists said this month that record smashing heat waves in the US, Northwest, and Canada in late June and early July would have been, quote, virtually impossible without human caused climate change, close quote. <clears throat> World Weather Attribution, an international group of leading climate scientists added, quote, the observed temperatures were so extreme that they lie far outside the range of historical observed temperatures. This makes it hard to quantify <clears throat> with confidence how rare the event was. In the most realistic statistical analysis, the event is estimated to be about a 1 in 1,000 year event in today's climate, close quote, and you can be absolutely sure that uh, these 1 in 1,000 year, these 1,000 year uh, events you will see uh, certainly more and more this century. They will go from one in a millennium to one in a century to one uh, per decade to one every year. This is completely predictable to anybody uh, other than Book Hermit uh, with the evidence on the table. <clears throat> Scientists are concerned economic models that claim that the costs of preventing climate change do not outweigh the projected damage are ignoring the possibilities of climate black swans. This is Connie LeCare, a climate scientist at the University of East Anglia and an author of the new IPCC report, quote, we are now observing climate change with our own eyes in ways we did not broadly before. That is the understatement uh, of the year. Uh, so if you enjoyed this little descent into doom and gloom from the Independent, they also say uh, you might enjoy Obama goes for meat substitute in vegan men menu for his birthday dinner. We have Greece and Turkey fires live. Thousands more flee. Thousands more flee blaze outside Athens as extreme fire warning issued. How about July wildfires were the worst for 18 years and released record levels of carbon, scientists say. Don't forget, capsized cargo ship spews significant amount of crude off the coast of Georgia. Uh, how about TikTok accused of banning indigenous climate protesters? And this could be a whole nother rant for another day. The environmental impact of bottled water is 3,500 times greater than that of tap water. 3,500 times. Uh, and tap water is bad enough. But anyway, I need to wrap up this chronicle of the collapse about black swan events in uh, 
we're going to head off to Baker's Acres Nursery and get some uh, Tropicana canna lilies for my bog garden is how I am spending uh, this beautiful but I can see now smoky day here in the collapse and I highly suggest you get out there and uh, plant your own bog garden while you still can. Bye guys.